going to Dr. Marielle Borowitz, chief of the Nun School program in Atlanta. We just heard, uh, you know, the kind of voices that we're getting, not just in India, from across the world who are celebrating this occasion. What does this mean, you believe, a country like India reaching the moon, space research? Do you, do you see now more collaborative exercises that will take the research that is done even further? Yeah, I think that's absolutely true. This is a, a huge accomplishment and it's doing something that's really never been done before and is a really important component of the plans of a lot of nations right now. So there's a lot of interest in returning to the moon. NASA has their Artemis program. They're all looking at going to the, to the South Pole uh, of the moon. And so for India now to have put the first landing there, I think moves that whole international effort forward. You know, they'll, they'll be the nation that has that experience and that information. Uh, and I think that will be valuable to lots of other nations around the world um, to move that whole effort forward. Dr. Suresh Nai, former group director, ISTRO, we're getting lots <laughs> of voices coming in. Your, yeah. your first reaction as a proud uh, ISROian, if I may call it, we heard Dr. Somnath say that ISRO is the real hero today. So for you, give us a sense for someone who's, you know, worked with ISRO for years, what this means, sir. Yeah, actually, uh, it means uh, a massive movement for all the Indians and particularly uh, former ISROians like me, because uh, I have gone through the suspense and experience of nail biting finishes for about 18 space programs in my career and i got uh, some idea about uh, the situation of the mindset about the scientists when the last uh, 15 minute journey was taking place and how happy everybody was in the control room and across the country you see i am also extremely elated by this success because uh, there are many fold uh, advantages and benefits happen going to happen uh, in di different areas one is uh, this technological achievement of soft landing will open the door for the uh, human missions on the moon mm -hmm. for india and uh, in future of course and second thing is uh, if we are able to land there our human astronauts then uh, further goals will be establishing a human colony on the moon because there are very precious minerals are expected to be available there and one can think of mining and transporting them back to the country and it will be very precious resources because from the helium-3 which is available in abundance on mm -hmm. the moon it can, you can generate pollution-free uh, electricity and it will suffice the need of the whole world for mm -hmm. centuries. So that is one thing. Second thing is uh, this is going to give a boost to the economy of the country also in the sense that already 140 startups in only the space sector are already working mm -hmm. and the venture capitalists will be interested to give them the uh, investments for uh, their further work, innovation, and so on. Right. So that is also going to bring in a lot of wealth generation activity. And lastly, but not the least important, is this is going to give a tremendous boost in the inspiration for the youth of the country. And uh, we can expect that many young people now will be attracted to make a career in space science and technology. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Dr. Ghosh, uh, you know, you just heard Dr. Naik saying the various benefits that can come. Inspirational move, many startups coming in space research. He mentioned uh, getting humans on the moon. Do you see that as the next step? That this is actually the, what we are seeing today is the beginning or another chapter in what's been a, a, a great story over the last 40, 50 years. No, absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, let me just mention that uh, I was watching as to when uh, Luna 25 went down. Mm -hmm. And mind you, the Russians are the pioneers. And uh, even in the case of the Americans, there has been a big gap recently. Mm -hmm. It's only now with SpaceX and Elon Musk is it picking up. And here you have, um, I wouldn't even uh, hesitate to say that we were Johnny-come-latelys. 
and we came in and showed them that look this is what we can do so uh, do you remember that cartoon which came in long time back where you have a person in a bullock cart trying to say that look i'm joining the space club mm -hmm. and now here we are and we are showing the world that look this is where we reached this is our capability mm -hmm. and this is not only in the case of science but also in the case of commercial things see the number of uh, startups that have come up very recently and it's just booming you have in fact the case where uh, a 3d uh, cryo engine has been built so in all sets and of course there is the big uh, advantage of technology which is coming up which was mentioned by dr madhavan so it's it's an all round effort you know is that uh, rajendra why this is a game changer given the fact that you've had a lot of these startups emerge particularly in the last few years uh, they will now get extra confidence there will be more financing of space research you will suddenly have uh, space research the space to be in uh, for for indians is that why today is an important day in many ways the new technologies that will come in and do you see a human on the on the moon uh, sooner rather than later well firstly let's look at this this chandrayaan 3 is absolutely made in india as dr so much and when he says made in india it's not just government of india the the collaboration between 300 industries private industries that have come in have actually helped in making of chandrayaan so one we need to recognize that competence already there two the game changer Uh, that is there is that we have now allowed private sector in the last year or so to come and not only build rockets then satellites which was not there before and you've seen the explosion that has happened in terms of the number of startups and the you know the competence that we are demonstrating the third thing that you asked about is we when prime minister modi went down to the us to meet uh, president biden recently he signed what is called the artemis agreement that is mm -hmm. 27 nations who are now collaborating to uh, go back to put humans back in the moon particularly in the south pole where we have landed and very interestingly uh, rajdeep the dovetails very neatly into our gaganyaan project in in the gaganyaan project we are putting our first astronauts into space by ourselves now america has offered and as part of the artemis agreement we would be having our astronauts fly on their spacecraft so we get the experience so what we are going to see is that we have joined the big boys when it comes to luna uh, exploration and that i think is one of the most the tremendous that, achievement that's there we are seeing the first pictures oh, wow. uh, of the exact spot where the landing has taken place and that's fantastic yep. those are the images that are coming in at the moment and over the next few days i'm sure as the rover moves around you'll get many more images unique images but the first images of the vikram lander coming after the landing there on your screen the moon Chanda Mama has come home, and that's as uh, dramatic uh, an image that you can get as close to the moon. And you can see the shadow of the leg of the lander, the, uh, of, uh, of the rover there. Uh, we, it's going to move as uh, as was said by uh, Dr. Sobhnar to us. Uh, it's begun its movement across. It's pretty slow, by the way.